himself. And what he's doing is trying out. So, Bradley, these are city centre cruises. Now, a lot of people will not know such a thing exists in Manchester. Yeah, well, the canals, I'd say, are not only the birthplace of Manchester, but the birthplace of the Industrial Revolution. Wherever you look in Greater Manchester, you are surrounded by water in some form. So, you know, we've got to come and check out uh, the companies who are going along and cruising along these canals. Uh, we're actually on a very famous canal, and we'll get into that in a moment, because I want to bring in uh, Eamon Gal. Eamon, uh, you run city centre cruises. The canals are so important to Manchester, aren't they? Why is this particular one that we're sitting on a famous one? This is famous, Brad. Welcome aboard, first of all. Um, thank you very much. OK, thank you. Um, this was the first canal built in the country. started in 1759, when the first Act of Parliament came through. And it was to carry the Duke's coal from Worsley. That's where he lived. That's where the coal mines were. And he brought the coal into Manchester. It, it came around because they were having trouble getting water out of the mines and they decided to drink to build underground canals and then they thought it was logical to bring a canal into Manchester. And this was the start of the Industrial Revolution. Wow, so this was the very first canal built and created in Britain and it started in Manchester. Yeah. It's quite interesting because this, this is a 14 foot wide canal but I know that because I have a personal interest in canal boats myself so I know, I know a few facts uh, already um, and that's how wide these canals are. Just tell me, you've got uh, a cruise that you've got today, what routes do you go along? Do you go along the Manchester Ship Canal for example? Yes, today we, we've got a lunch cruise, we start here in Castlefield on the Bridgewater Canal and we go out to Pomona and at Pomona there's a lock there, that takes us down onto the Manchester Ship Canal. And then we go down to Media City area, Salford Keys, have a look around there, do a bit of commentary while they're dining, and then we return back to Castlefield two and a half hours later. Mm, amazing. Now, for those that don't know, Media City UK is a media hub. Uh, loads of big media organisations, restaurants, shops. You go and take a wander down there and a tour around there. Now, um, I should say, our presenter, Eamon Holmes, big Man United fan, uh, around there, there's also Old Trafford. Do you take any football fans there on match days via canal boat? We've been doing that for over 20 years. <laughs> have you actually? We have, really. <laughs> and it's, it's one of the best ways to get down to the stadium. So again, we start in Castlefield. We don't go through the lock on that one. We go stay on the Bridgewater Canal. And the back of the stadium is the Bridgewater Canal. So we stop underneath some at Busby Way. It takes about 35 minutes to get there. No traffic, no parking problems. There's a pedestrian gate that we go into the stadium and then 20 minutes after the final whistle, back here into Castlefield. And the bonus is you can have a beer on the way. Yeah, I was going to say, so you can actually go and see a game by boat. Tell me though, if they win or lose, what's the vibe like on the boat back? The best, well, uh, <laughs> if they win, of course, it's a much better feeling. Uh, yeah. and, and we've not had that feeling for a couple of years now. <laughs> but I have to say, the European, the European nights are absolutely brilliant. Oh. You get a real buzz, yeah. yeah. And we do a bit of food before we go down there, and I tailor it to whichever country we're playing. So if it's a Spanish team, we, do, we did tapas um, this, this year. So, yeah, different food. And uh, it's not just this boat you own, you've got some others as well, but this one, we're on this one in particular because... Fill me in. This is, well, this boat we've had now for just over 12 years, and we named her Emmeline Pankhurst, of course, the leader of the suffragettes. She was a lady born in Moss Side, Manchester, and she led to the women's uh, right to vote. And when we, when we got the boat, we were thinking of a, a, a good name, uh, a, an apt name. Um, our other boat is L.S. Lowry, of course, the famous painter. Um, so both are famous people, yeah. Two amazing symbols of Manchester. Uh, really good to chat to you, Eamon. Thanks, um, I'll let you get ready because you've got a big cruise ahead. Have, yeah. um, who knows, I actually lived near Salford, so maybe you could take me back home after this. <laughs> okay. um, incredible to find out a little bit of history about the canals that, like I say, are the birthplace of not just the Industrial Revolution, but Manchester itself.